Hey filmmaker Shung here. In this video, we're going to talk about the Nanlite Forza 60. However, first we're going to talk about the sponsor of this video, which is Hard Black, which is an online web store in Hong Kong with a lot of professional filmmaking gear. So this is the Nanlite Forza 60. It's a really nice small size. As you can see, if I hold my hand next to it, it's pretty much my hand size. It has a lot of cool features. It has a lot of like professional features. It has also like effects features in it. You can dim the lights really well. And pretty much uh, it has a very, very bright LED. Included in the bag actually is also a, a reflector which you can mount here in front. And also uh, what is directly attached is a mounting bracket on the side so you can mount it directly onto a light stand even with the bracket attached it is a small light so if i remove it from the stand here if i hold it like this this is a very nice compact small light so this on itself it weighs like nothing so a light that we can compare the forza 60 with is the aperture mini 20d it is uh, much bigger than the nan light it is like uh, twice the size it also does not have like some of the features of the nan light so uh, if we want to attach this to a stand we still need to attach like a ball head underneath or a uh, adapter underneath so it does not include like a bracket that you can uh, mount and tilt the light directly with so you need to uh, have that extra also we can only dim it we don't have uh, like uh, a lot of features like effects features so the mini 20ds are much more simpler as a light and um, yeah the front here of the mini 20d we can't replace it with uh, different um, yeah light modifiers the only thing we can add here is like a filter on the front here to change the yeah yeah the daylight to a much warmer tone or a uh, other colored filter but for the rest uh, yeah we can focus the light beam uh, on the back but that is pretty much it uh, with the Mini 20D. Now to a quick test of the Forza 60 without a modifier. We can see it's a very widespread of a light. It doesn't have like a spotlight of a feel, but a more like a soft LED. But comparing to the Mini 20D without a modifier, the Forza 60 is actually not as bright as the Mini 20, but the Mini 20 is more of a spotlight. We can see there's a circle forming with it. But when we add the reflector to the Forza 60, it actually becomes much brighter than the Mini 20D at full power. And dimming them both to the lowest setting, actually the Forza can be much darker than the Mini 20D, and which is actually quite useful if you just want to slightly light something up. So having done all those tests between these two lights, I have to say they both have like a certain look to the lights itself, and it is quite interesting between these two lights. However, the biggest uh, purchase factor I feel like between these two lights is uh, the noise that it makes because the Mini 20D has a plastic housing it does look like have a quite big uh, cooling element on the inside and has like a single fan on the bottom however the housing on the Forza 60 is metal so it also have quite a big cooling element but uh, during the test itself, I can hear within several minutes that the uh, Mini 20D is on full power that I can hear the fan being kicked in and it's quite noisy. While with the Forza 60 during the whole test, I have not heard the fan going uh, on at all. And yeah, it also doesn't feel like very hot at all to the touch. So the Forza 60 actually cools down quite well even on full blast and yeah I have to say that that is a big deal breaker because if you're doing interviews or shooting films uh, where the dialogue are, is really important to be recorded at the same time then the 
yeah mini 20d is just a little bit too noisy for that while the 4060d is just much better in its cooling so if you are interested in purchasing the nanlite 4060 make sure to purchase it through the links in the description below because that would really help this channel and if you have any questions about the nanlite about the mini 20d or about anything else about filmmaking make sure to comment below and if you are new to this channel and want to see more upcoming videos like this, make sure to hit that subscribe button here below. And thank you guys for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.